All right. Um, I was just doing a little more research into San Francisco, and the other day I, um, I was watching a Zachary Hubbard video, and he talked about Revelation adds up to 49. And I was like, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty interesting due to the uh, the year 49, 49. I made the video about it um, on the Hebrew calendar is actually the year 1189 on the Gregorian calendar. And there's 1,189 chapters in the King James uh, Bible. And Revelation is the last uh, one. So interesting that 49 and Revelation. Also, I found interesting was San Francisco is named after St. Francis of Assisi. So if you come here, it says, well, well, before I even go into that, San Francisco, Spanish for St. Francis, was founded on June 29th, 1776. And June 29th is 222, 222. Just 29, June. And then it even says uh, right here, a fort at the Golden Gate, Brit Golden Gate and a mission named for St. Francis of Assisi a few miles away. So, literally, San Francisco is named after St. Francis of Assisi. And I did a video on him a long time ago. Now, this guy, it says he died at age 44, and it was in uh, 26 years. So, it was 788 years ago when I, or 1,788 years ago when I had made this video. Um, but he's popular because he was the first person to ever receive the stigmata. Um, it also says he arranged for the first Christmas nativity scene in 1224. It's kind of funny, 1224, Christmas Eve, and then he arranged for the first Christmas nativity scene. Um, his uh, feast day is October 4th, the big 88 day. Um, uh, also, I did a whole video on this town. It's... Um, partially based on the movie The Exorcism, or the book, too. Um, it's based on things that happened in this town that I live 13 miles from. But the uh, exorcisms were at the local Franciscan convent. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff about it, but uh not going to go that into detail. But also, the most interesting thing is that the Pope right now is Pope Francis. And he's actually named after Francis of Assisi. It even shows here then uh, Pope Francis. He chose Francis as his papal name in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. Just wanted to point that out. Also wanted to point out that last year on October 19th, it was the 88th World Mission Day for the Catholic Church. And Pope Francis was also ordained December 13th, 1969, which is 45 years ago until December 13th of this year. I also forgot, um, so I talk about Tom Brady a lot being the 49 uh, Super Bowl champion, whatever, Super Bowl 49, 49 around him, whatever. But uh, it never dawned on me, and I know I talked about this this article before, but uh, he he's actually from the San Francisco Bay Area. And this article is just showing that he was at the... Uh, 49ers Cowboys uh, one of the playoff games or whatever I guess it's was a big game or whatever I just found it kind of interesting the score was 27 to 28 and this year is the 27 year because it's that's many how many years it is from 1988 and next year is the 28 year so and San Francisco had 28 points kind of interesting and I mean I just didn't realize he was actually from the San Francisco Bay Area so wanted to point that out so anyway, um, I got home from work today, finally had some time to do a little research, watch some other videos and whatnot, and I don't know how I've never seen this video, um, but it's from March 28th, Zachary K. Hubbard here, um, and it's crazy how, I mean, he's talking about San Francisco, and I'm talking about it from a whole different, a whole different perspective, and it's both leading to San Francisco. That that blows me away sometimes, you know, because, I mean, it's both leading to the same thing, and it connects to everything I've been talking about. 
So anyway, um, it was all about the the German wings uh, airplane crash, and this was the the crazy pilot or whatever. But look what his name is, Andreas Lubitz. Now I, I'll leave a link to this video. It's definitely a good video to go watch. It's, um, but anyway, Andreas Lubitz, which pretty weird here. So you got the San Andreas fault line, which is the cause of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Um, but what's crazy is that I just did the whole WWE thing and the WrestleMania, and The Rock actually comes out, and he says that he's from the San Francisco Bay Area, and he left his heart in San Francisco, blah, 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 blah. But interesting, The Rock is in the, a movie that's coming out on May 29th, 2015, called San Andreas. And it's uh, like a destruction movie or whatever. And it's in San Francisco. I mean, what are the odds of that, you know? I mean, what are they trying to show you? And if you watch the, this video here, which I really recommend it, the, I'll, I'll just point it out here. So in the news article, one of the news articles, they show the picture of this guy in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then his, la his first name is Andreas. And we've talked about San Francisco and 49 and whatever like crazy. Also, a lot of the articles had said 149 people plus this guy. So 149 is the 35th prime number. Now, I haven't really started. I, I got to start writing down the 35s because I've seen a ton of them. And for whatever the reason, I haven't wrote them down. But you have, like, Russell Westbrook, who's number zero, and Kevin Durant is hurt, and Kevin Durant is number 35, and, I mean, there's there's all kinds of them. I just haven't wrote them down, and now I kind of wish I would have. But, uh, anyway, 149, another interesting thing about 149. So that seemed interesting to me, considering flux capacitor, what makes time travel possible, is 149 as well. So, um... I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out, what, what all this is. So, flux capacitor is 149. Um, I guess I never did the Pythagorean one, but uh, it's 88 miles an hour to, to make it work. Uh, also, I wanted to know, I made a video about the speed limit a long time ago, and 55 miles an hour is actually 88 kilometers an hour. Plutonium is 49, so we got 49, 88. So the only other thing that makes it work is the flux capacitor. So I'm trying to figure out what that is. So like I said, 149. But later on, um, when he goes to the future so many times, he doesn't need the flux capacitor anymore, and he has Mr. Fusion. And he puts, like, old garbage in it or whatever. And Mr. Fusion adds up to 115, which is 11.5, the day that he discovered uh, how time travel could work from the flux capacitor. So kind of interesting. And then it also... 43 and 52 and 52 talked about with Space Jam, Michael Jordan. I also forgot the uh, 1.21 gigawatts. So there's the, the 1221 or maybe the January 21st, but 1221 uh, gigawatts adds up to 107, which is the 28th prime. So there you go. 28 will be next year. And just gigawatt in general is 88. So I guess just pointing all this out, you know, just to, as a reference so I can come back and think about how it all might connect eventually here. But, I mean, why is this guy in front of the Golden Gate Bridge? That's crazy. Uh, he also talks about in that video that the Church of Satan was actually established in San Francisco in 1966, which is 49 years ago. So then as I was thinking about flux capacitor, the only th I was just trying to think of other fluxes, something to do with flux or capacitor, and I, I thought of the movie Aeon Flux, or whatever it's called. And Aeon actually adds up to 35, which goes along with the 149, the flux capacitor. So I was like, huh, you know, that's pretty interesting. We'll look it up. So it actually doesn't take you to the movie. It takes you to, like, the... Uh, comic book and an animated television series on MTV throughout the 90s. But you keep reading down here, it does it does tell you about the book, or the, the movie that came out in 2005. But uh, you find 
The title is based on the Gnostic notion of Aeon. I don't even know how to say that. Emanations of God, specifically the Valentinian notion of whatever that is. But crazy, Valentinian, that's where the, the name of this came from. And I haven't done that much research. Like I said, I just found this a little bit ago. Just wanted to point it out, I guess. But, I mean, Valentinianism or whatever, I mean, come on, that, that gives it away to me right away. Like, that it, I must be onto something. Because I'm... I've talked about how it all went along with Valentine's and whatnot. But uh, way down here at the bottom here, or I guess it's at the top in the history, but it says, Most scholars also believe that Valentinus wrote the Gospel of Truth, one of the Nag Hammadi texts. And these were like, it's a library that they found um, with ancient uh, Gnostic texts or whatever. But they didn't find it until 1945. I mean, interesting that he's Valentinus, like Valentine, and 45 is all about Valentine, and they find this on 1945. Hmm. And here's the movie. I've actually never even watched it, but for some reason it's always stuck in my brain. Like, I wanted to watch it, and I never have. But uh, um, it just talks about a virus that killed off 99% of the Earth in 2001, and then 404 years later in 2415, so 404, you take out the zero, then that's your 44. But um, I'm not even going to go that much into the, the plot. But uh, So the running time is 93 minutes. Just keep that in mind, 93. And the main character is Charlize Theron. And she is the mirror of 93 she is 39 years old. And then Aeon is 35 and Flux is 63. You add them together, it's 98. So the movie is actually 98, which is 49 plus 49. So since Aeon added up to 35 and then the 149 was the Flux capacitor, and I talked about that, whatever, the prime number. Um, anyway, I typed in just Aeon, and it brings you to this. And what's weird is because he talked about it on his video even, Thalema is 93. And you come here and you find out about the Thalema and the Th Thalemites and the different Aeons. There's three of them, but it all ties into Aleister Crowley. And it even is all about the number 93. Because uh, Thalema... Adds up to 93, I believe, is what it says here. The two primary terms in these statements are the central philosophy of Philema is two phrases, Liber al, do what thou will, shall be the whole of the law, and love is the law, love under will. The two primary terms are will and love, respectively. In the Greek language, they are Philema, will, agape, love. Using the Greek technique, whatever, uh, the letters, uh, both of these words add to 93. And, I mean, you come here and look. So, kind of weird. Um, it says here, too, it's uh, found in the Book of Law by Aleister Crowley in 1904. 1904 was 111 years ago. Uh, like I said, I gotta, I just looked this up like an hour ago, so... I need to do a little more research, um, and I have another video that I want to do, so, uh, um, because I watched some Star Trek, I'm a nerd now, but, uh, actually, this, the movie was terrible, but, uh, the, uh, TV show wasn't that bad, but anyway, like I said, I'm gonna do some more research, just wanted to point a few things out, I'm gonna leave a link to this other video, uh, definitely check it out, it's got a lot of awesome information, um, anyway, uh, have a great night.